Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Veriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor, and we're back with Morin at the entrance of the giant den, lair, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, we are here to try to stop the giants from allying with the Angmarim, so let's see. Here is a plan. We're going to enter Tirstath, request an audience with the Ice Giant Jifton, and attempt to sway them over to the side of the Gavilaka. I am more warrior than diplomat, but I will do what I can. Keep your guard up in the event this goes poorly. But, Beriathan, try not to start a fight, unless we really need one. Well, here goes nothing. Fingers crossed. Horin believes the best course of action is to enter Thirstar on a diplomatic mission. Your aim is to prevent the Ice Giants from also falling under the sway of Hrimmel and her Frosthorn. And we'll do our best, I'm sure. Here we go. Remember, be polite and respectful. Keep your weapons sheathed. They should at least get us out as long as we do not agitate. Let's hope you're right, Horin. Hail, uh, Ice Giants of Thirstar. We wish to speak with your chieftain. Chieftain Krumgrad has been expecting you, dwarf. Proceed down the stairs. Do not wander. You heard him. Quite the icy reception, huh? <laughs> Hot well. A bad joke at least breaks the tension a little bit. They're just staring. Do you think they're trying to intimidate us? Who knows, maybe. Wait for him, wait for me. Must be through here. Are you ready? Are ready as I, I can be. I did not see any hobgoblins or Angmarim on the way in. That's a good sign. But now, we will really put my skill at diplomacy to the test. I have never spoken to a giant at length before, much less a chieftain of that people. I hope I don't accidentally offend him. Be ready just in case this goes poorly. Come on behalf of the Gabilica to uh, to seek an alliance with your people, the Ice Giants. You should know the Hobgoblins have already come seeking the very same dwarf. What have you to offer that they do not? Hmm, a valid question. Freedom, perhaps. We dwarves have not bound ourselves to an ancient and evil being like they have. Dignity, also, as you will not be associating yourself with orcs. Tell me, Horin of the Zemluka, how do you think my people would fare living under a dwarf king's rule in a kingdom of dwarves? Ugh. Our kind have long lives and longer memories. We remember life when the dwarves still ruled the halls below. They pushed us from our holds inside the mountain, and not always peaceably. Eventually. Yeah, that's the shame. The out of sync audio. Honorable cur! 
think what you will. I do what I must for the survival of my people. Take them to the storeroom. Find out what else they know of our plans. Then, deliver their bodies to Bagudum. The Warlord will be moving on. His desire to find Gorgar has intensified. That is fortunate, for I wish to speak to you alone regarding that stuff. There they go. Now we'll have some time to uh, catch up on what we missed. How shall we interrogate them? Huh. The giants will not allow us to light a fire inside their hole to hit a brand. Thank God. Perhaps they would uh, allow us to borrow one of their bears? Oh. <laughs> Hopefully not. Okay, so. We must break free while they are out of sight. Yeah, give me just a moment. We remember life when the dwarves still ruled the holes below. They pushed us from our holes inside the mountain and not always peaceably. Eventually only thirst that remained on the highest peak. We became wary. And now the dwarves have returned seeking to remove the orcs and they ask us to trust. An interesting turn, but still we are wary. If I must choose a side, I'm afraid I must choose the dragon. You may take them. All right. So yeah. He uh, captured us with these sort of shadows. And that's when Loknashra came in and took the staff that we had already taken from the anchor room. That's basically it. Uh, but now, well. We need to keep investigating their, the anchor room plans. First, we gotta free ourselves. Thank you, friend. I am both angry and embarrassed to have fallen into such a trap. We need to move quickly before those Angmari return. The jailers? Yeah, sure. I may have been wrong about most giants having honorable natures. That was downright duplicitous. It is time to go on the offensive. If they want to ally with the Frost Horde and the Ankhrim, well. They have declared themselves our enemies, and let them regret it. Don't go too far away, please. In games, I allow for jets. I take no such gambles in war. The Ice Giants have made their choice. If they ally with the Frost Horde, they have become enemies of the Dwarves. You know what we do with enemies, Veriathan, even such large enemies as this. We have come too far to turn back now. It seems the Ankhari and Hobgoblins have brought the Ice Giants a goodly number of gifts and treasures with which to win their allegiance. Whatever foul trinkets and cursed artifacts they may have been given, I say we deprive the Giants of these gifts. Destroy all that you find. Put your back to the past and to the wind. The Ice Giant leader, Chieftain Hrungrod, lured us into a trap. It will be a tough fight for just the two of us, but I am willing to make him pay for it if you are. Of course I am. There is much to be done, and little time for talk. While we were making our way through Tristad, I spotted a chest of dwarf make. The giants must have stolen it, one of, stolen it from one of our ancient holds in Gunnavad. I say we recover such treasures as we can on our way out. Oh, like this one, sure. So, well, I gotta say, the first time I did this, I was kind of uh, expecting the giants to ally with, with the dwarves. So I was caught off guard by this treason. Now, of course, not so much, but still, we gotta take care of giants and pop goblins alike, and anchor him too. The worst thing about this is, as you might have seen, on the last episode, there is a giant slayer deed in Gundavad, in Welkin Lofts. Not the longest deed to complete. 80 for tier 1, 160 for tier 2. Let's see how many of these giants we can uh, defeat on our way out of this fortress. And that will let us know how much 
farm and we'll need to do on our own. Maybe, if we're lucky, we might even be able to complete uh, tier 1 of this deed before we leave this place. That would be nice. That would be really nice. But I guess we'll need to wait and see. Alright. At least tier 1. I need to do some farming of our own, but at least tier 1. Alright, more giants come. I used to know the lay of this place by heart. Not anymore, it's been a while since I eh, farmed the giant slayer did, so... A little bit lost. Let's see, let's see if we can... If we don't get too lost inside this place. I mean, it's not a big place, by any means. And I remember getting between 20 to 30 giants per run of this place. So yeah, I guess it depends how much we farm these giants before we move on. So yeah, I'm hoping for tier 1 at least. Maybe that's pushing it a little bit. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Unmarine gifts. Oh, take a look at this. We're going to have a chest. This is chest number two of Welkin Lofts. Uh, gotta free up some backspace once again to be able to open the chest. So, once again, bear with me. It's not gonna take long, I hope. Alright, we were able to open it. Awesome. Here we have Chieftain Grungrod. Come here, you guy. Come on, stop it with that. No, don't tell me you have stuck me inside this place. You cannot do that. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Die. Now, how do I get out of here? Oh, thank God. I, you didn't get me stuck in there. That would have sucked so bad. I got scared for a minute. I think, yeah, that's it as far as the quests inside this place go. We have come too far to turn back now. Ice, stone or flesh, all will fall before the axis of dwarves. 
We have come too far to turn back now. You were the gifts of an enemy, Briathan. I mean, if your enemy's enemy gives you a present, perhaps you should reconsider accepting it, for today's ally could be tomorrow's foe. Is that anything? Bah, I will leave the thinking for the thinkers. We dare not make use of the angry and hobgoblin gifts, so it is good to make sure the ice giants cannot use them either. Now that is the sort of wisdom I can understand. Yeah, me too. In games, I allow for chance. I take no such gambles in war. We have repaid Kurungrod for his treachery and his fate will serve as warning to others of his people. Revenge is best served when cold, do they say? It gets little colder than the holes of the ice giants. Yeah, really not that good. Maybe for the extra vitality, but... Not that good. Only a drag shows mercy in battle. For how long have the giants hoarded these dwarf treasures? I am glad to restore them to the rightful holders, though their orig original owners belong dead. These artifacts belong to dwarves, not giants, and we will ensure in dwarf hands they stay from now on. Thank you for the help, Beriathan. We've done enough here. Let's leave, and quickly, before more hobgoblins or giants or Ongmarim come looking for us. Oh, come on, Orin, stop it. And quickly, before more hobgoblins or... So, as you see in there, we can uh, talk to Horin to quickly escape this place and treat the soul. That's what I did the last time I was questioning here. But I think trying to farm this did a little bit more is worth it. So let us just try to uh, make our way out of the giant's den on our own. And as soon as we leave it, well, you saw, you, there are no evil giants to fight uh, outside of Tirstad. So... We're just gonna fight a couple more giants inside this place. I don't particularly care about what the Goblin Slayer did, so... As long as we can get a couple more giants inside this place, that will be good. And when we leave it, when we leave Tierstad, uh, we'll talk to Forin just to save us some of the backtracking. Now, these giants, as you have seen in here, they do love disarming, which is a pain. As that will unequip a lot of traceries. So hopefully we can uh, avoid some of those disarms on our way, on our way out. Giants in here, just a couple. Ah! Ah! Please, ah! thank you. Seems that's it for the giants on the lower level. Um, so let's uh, hate the giant stairs. Let's try to make our way our way out. Grab a couple more of them. Stop it! Any other giant in here? Maybe not. This is truly one of the more time consuming deeds in all of Grundavat. It's 
One of my least favorites. Yeah, there aren't that many giants inside this place, so... So yeah, we'll need to be coming back here at least three more times. What a pain. Come, let's return to Cluso. He's probably worried about us. He probably is. Come, let's return to Cluso. He's probably worried about us. I was about to come looking for you. What happened? You tell Cluso about the Ice Giant's trap and your assault on Tristat with Horin. Ah, so much for diplomacy. It changes little. What is one more enemy to defeat before we can reclaim Gundavad? But there is this too. Should we be worried about the staff falling back into the hands of the Angmarim? Yeah, maybe. For the Angmarim to so intently pursue that stuff means you were right to keep it from them. All we can do now is continue up the mountain and hope we can track it down again. We have done all we can here. Cluso will keep an eye on Tirstad. It is time to continue our search for Drustalbuk, Lok Nashra and the staff. Let us continue up the father's path. We should find Kirstik, the last of Ausma's apprentices, somewhere nearby. Keep an eye out for, the, for her flair. Alright, yeah, I do remember uh, a little bit of what comes next. Looking for the path. Let's see what else we can fight along the way. couple more camps in here. Enemy camps, that is. Well, orcs. And Agmarim. You have that much use for any of them. Let us skip the cover for now. A flare shoots off from the top of the hill before you. So what comes next with Kirstig? It's been a while since we saw her too. Ah, here we have the flare. So she cannot be that far. If the clues were the thing full, alright. Ah, Kirstik, here we go. Kirstik waves as you approach. Welcome to a deck boozle, the thing full. This is a place of much historic significance for all dwarves. Within these walls, the great Dwaromuts take place, where the kings of all the clans are called together to make important decisions like declarations of war. I brought a few dwarves up here to set up a staging area to the higher peaks. It's not much, but please use it should you need to rest. Oh, and one more thing. I saw the hobgoblins. Are you ready to receive my report? Sure. Always. What did you see? Scout Kirstig has an important report to share. A secret meeting between Loch Nashra and the leader of the cult of Drugoth hints at their true motives in the region. Alright, so uh, yeah, I think we hadn't talked 
too much about this, the cult of Trugoth, we saw the first hints of it on Car Brunach, and you might remember there we were saying, well, Trugoth is dead, or was supposed to be. So that was a really enticing mystery, uh, or at least it is, the first time you you do Gundavad. Like, what? what's the deal exactly with all this? A little while ago, I was looking around the thing fold. So let's see if we get the answers. Ancient structures. When I heard someone talking in his voice, I did not recognize. What did you hear? When I got close, I realized it was an Amri man and Loch Nosra. A private conversation between those two must be important, so I moved into position to eavesdrop. So, what was so important that we had to meet alone? I do not believe you foolish enough to attempt to kill me. Not by yourself. Kill you? Oh no, I would never wish harm on my prized pupil. Do you still not trust me? I don't think so. Hmm, distrust is in our nature. I understand. It is a useful survival instinct. I wish to speak to you about the staff you reclaimed. You can sense the power coursing through it, can you not? Yes. What is this, really? It is no mere trinket. It is the very staff Drugoth himself wielded in his physical form. It is the weapon of a powerful god lord. While the warlord has his own reasons for marching up the father's path, the cult of Drugoth has other aims, and they require that staff. The fell spirits are easily called from the winds at this high elevation. We have need of them in all their legions to fuel a ritual. What ritual? A ritual to impart the power of the God Lord to a chosen member of our God, the new wielder of the staff of Drugoth. It is my hope that the one chosen will be you. Why you? I have not yet mastered your magic. No, but you will soon. Your strength and cunning have made you unnatural. The ritual would make you incredibly powerful. I can think of none more deserving. Why not receive it yourself, then? Ha! Huh. My duty has always been to teach, to spread the word of our master. If you accept, I will facilitate your transition to our new leader. I accept. I will use this new power to win this war in the name of the Frost Horde. <laughs> Excellent. You Stalbuk must not find out about this. The Warlord is prone to envy. Of course, it will be our secret then. Alright, lots of important revelations and we'll come back to some of them later. A secret ritual? This sounds like something we should try and prevent. So of course we now know a little bit more about the Cult of Dragoth and what they attempt to achieve in here. But as I was saying, we'll come back to this conversation later as we learn more of their plans. Lagnasher is making secret deals with the Angmarim. What are they doing that she does not want Dush Talbuk to know about? Finding hair and the staff have just become an even more present matter. Come, we must continue up the path and find this fourth heuristic mentioned in her report. 
But as you're seeing here, Kirstik also has a lot of quests for us here in the Thinkfold. I think we can do that and establish a foothold in here. Our need is dire. We're very high up in the mountains now. A cold wind blows and it brings with it Grimms and other fell spirits. You'll see them if you continue up the father's path. The Grimms make the freezing cold even deadlier and it is not as if this environment was very pleasant before. These are not conditions we will want the reinforcements to deal with in, a, in their way to the peak. We should do something about those Grimms, Pariathan. We already know what. Durin's folk shall endure, as we always have. While you're here, I have another Hobgoblin-related report for you. Can you believe it? Here's the claps. I have seen a few of them sneaking around their thinkfold among the trees and shrubs. Luckily, the old runes seem to remain in effect and the Hobgoblins are reluctant to set foot among the statues. Still, I worry that in time they may be able to overcome that reluctance. I think their hunters are seeking game to feed their forces, but what if their hunt turns up something else? Let's do something about those hunters before they interfere with our plans. I. If the Busru is protected from war kind by ward runes placed thousands of years ago by the ancestors of the Longbeards, the words in Gloom Tarn have already been defaced and dismantled by some device of the Angrim, and I fear they could do the same here. While you're looking around the Thinkfold, keep an eye out for the words and scrape away any modifications the cultists might have made to them. Yes. This grand structure behind me is Iptek Buzru, the Thinkfold. This is where the kings of all the dwarf clans meet to discuss matters of grief importance throughout all the long history of the dwarves. There have been six great moods held at the Thinkfold, and we can learn about each of them by studying the monuments here. Our need is dire. I discovered a pack of vicious snow beasts living in a craggy area near the Cloven Gate. I have taken to calling it Grimclude or the Roaring Stones, because you can hear the echoing roars from quite far away. So, what are you waiting for? Kirstick looks at you expectantly. I don't need to convince you that a pack of dwarf feeding beasts so near the road is dangerous, do I? Please clear the place out, Veriathan. Yeah, that's what I thought. I kinda know where that is. Um But there are a couple things we can do in here. First of all, Stable Master, the last one of Grunavat. As you can see here, we have them all for now. Uh, milestone. It's going to be a little bit easier for us if we get the milestone in here. Now, we got to check. Well, a lot of things in here, of course. The sixth great moose. That's the last one, the fourth one. Let's try to check them all in order, if you don't mind. The second one, the first one, the first great mood of the dwarves. Let's see. It was here that the Seven Fathers met in peace and forged bonds of friendship among their lines. They swore to share knowledge and craft and lend aid against enemies. Forevermore, these promises would be tested when a great moot was called. The seven kings met. So this is kind of like a lost lore, but it's just all found in this location, which is really cool. Getting to know a bit more about the the great moots. It was here that the second great moot was called at the dawning of the first age and the coming of men. The dwarf kings came together once more and determined how to address the newcomers. And with all the clans working together, were able to befriend many men rather than going to war against them. It was here that the third great moot was called by King Dwalin III. The murder of his father, Dwalin II, led to the declaration of the first war of dwarves and orcs. King Dwalin kept his steading at the Thingfold for the duration of the war, and after he fell in the final battle, his body lay here for seven weeks, surrounded by the swords and shields of his enemies, before being sent back to Khazad Doom for entombment. It was here that the fourth great moot was called, in response to the threat of Mordor. Sauron's seizing of the rings of power and attack on Eregion led King Durin III to call the kings to the Thingfold, 
forge a new pact against him. The kings quarreled, and several departed in anger, driving a wedge between the dwarf lines that has lingered ever since. Interesting. Interesting how the dwarfs grew apart due to the influence of Sauron in a way. It was here that the fifth great moot was called. But as Gundabad had fallen to the orcs, only the rituals at its start and finish took place in the Thinkfold. The council chose the Jelruka as the rightful rulers of the Grey Mountains. The four kings of the east outvoting the three of the west. King Balin V acceded atop the mountain, then the lines parted again. Alright, so maybe that's part of the reason why the Shalruka uh, claim ownership of, of Gundabad? Not all the reason, of course. It was here that the sixth great moot was called, in response to Azog the Defiler's murder of King Thrall. Thrain II and his fellow kings formed the bond of Habaneka and declared their willingness to fight the sixth war of dwarves and orcs. This culminated in the Battle of Azanulbizar, which at last saw the death of Azog, though at the cost of half the strength of the dwarf host. A seventh great moot has been foretold, but has not yet come to pass. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, because uh, the, the text said very clearly there had only been a uh, six moots, but we had the place for seven, so I was curious about it. Like many other dwarven things, it's been foretold, but it hasn't come to pass. I can live with that. Ah! Really interesting tidbit into dwarven history. Something that, of course, is uh, entirely made up by the devs, but I think they have done a great job cleaning the gaps in in all places of Middle Earth's history. But with the dwarves, especially, maybe. Well, I'm I'm not the biggest a uh, dwarf connoisseur, so I I don't know if maybe there is some sort of a text in I don't know history of Middle Earth or something like that uh, that might contradict or complement what the devs are doing here in Gundabad and what the devs did in Moria too. But at least for me, it, all, all, all the devs have done so far with the dwarves seems plausible and. I'm very in line with with their characters, so yeah, I, I think they've done a great job with it. If you know more about dwarven history and dwarven culture than I am. And if there is anything else you would like to add, please let me know. I would love to hear it. From up here, we can see the Witch Gate. I'm not getting anywhere closer to, to the ledge. I don't want to fall. But well, even if we fall, it wouldn't be that bad. We have the milestone to take us back here. But, but still, it's not something I would... I would like to risk, no. Especially when we have so many other things to do in here and so little time. Stop rooting me, please. Here, a treasure cache. Did you see it? Oh. Ok. 
okay, a couple giants has outside this place. Cool. Cool to know. We don't need to do only tier stat in order to get some giants. Not a lot of them. But a couple of them at least. Come on. And you see there, another dwarf marker for the vistas. Silver, silver tooth cats we can avoid. Alright, 5 out of 10. We're halfway done with this. Treasure caches, I think we're almost done with them. I'm checking fact, rare chests, well, we already knew. Sites. Making good progress. Treasure caches, only missing two. Vistas, halfway through. Alright. Quests, 28 out of 40. Alright. Good progress in here too. I mean, after... After the Thinkfold in here... I think we only need to do two more enemy camps. So we are already approaching the end of the Welkin Laps 2. Nice to have. Nice to know, I mean. What else do we have here that might be useful? another run around here it seems oh but I already checked that one ah but not this one over here in here still gotta wait for some of the ice creams and hobgoblin hunters to respawn at least there are also a couple more worms in here and that's it. But the other warden runes are on the other side of the Think Pool. Alright. Still, I think we can get a couple pictures of this place. It's a very important place in Dwarven history, as we have seen. Uh, maybe it doesn't have a lot of impressive construction in here. It's a very open space. I mean, considering this is where the seven Dwarven clans would meet. 
makes sense to be a very big space to accommodate for everyone. It's not your usual dwarven uh, construction, even. But they still... Uh, make sure to make it as big as they can. Alright, so Warden Rune. This is Warden Rune 5. Alright, only one more. Let's try to uh, find the snow beast then. Can we have enough time for that? At least. Trying to remember the exact entrance to this place. Stick did tell us it was relatively close to the gate to Cloven Gap. So I think by tracking our, our steps is the uh, best course of action as we try to look for an opening that will take us there. Ah, I think it's this one. And not that easy to see at first sight. But yeah, Grim Clue, yeah, we, we found a place. Now somewhere around here. In one corner. Not exactly sure which one. We'll find one more treasure cache. I don't expect it to be so hard to find, really. All things considered, this place is not that big. Please. Yeah. Die. Okay. Maybe on the other side. Entirely sure where. Limestone and chests. Not sure where the cache is. And this place is not as small as I as I remembered it's still really not that big but bigger than I thought pressure cash okay gotta make our way up through here, I guess. Yeah, he 
There we go. Nice. Stop it. Right, this is cache number seven. Yeah, okay. Almost done with this one too. Is this a marker? Oh no, it's a chest. Not trace of the past. Just yet. Stop it, please. actually through the other path. This one over here. This guy again, uh, Stormbar. He up there. Not sure. Doesn't seem to be. This guy, yeah, finally. It's a huge, huge beast. Oh, come on. Yeah, this guy's huge, gigantic, but really not that tough. Okay, now that we're here, let's uh, grab a couple more geodes. All right, and with this we can map back and talk to Kerstick. Almost done with, with uh, Welkin Lofts now. We only have like two or three enemy camps left to explore, so I, I'm, I'm hoping we can do this... episodes at most. Hopefully, I, I don't know. Fingers crossed, we'll see. Hi. You clear to weigh the ice grims that threaten the pot up the mountain? Good. I thought I felt it getting a little warmer. Urgh. The wind returns. Perhaps it was just my imagination. Still, you did good work against those grims, Beriathan. Aye. Nice work, Beriathan. I trust in the runes that surround the Thinkful, but still, we should keep those hobgoblins as far from here as we can. Aye. Thank you for cleaning up the evil modifications the Angram attempted to make to the Warden runes, Beriathan. No doubt they will not abandon such attempts, but for now the Thinkful will remain protected. Aye. Did you clear out those no beasts? Thank you, Beriathan. Snow Beast ambushes are not a pretty sight, and now our reinforcements need not fear one. They will have enough to worry about with all these hobgoblins and anchoring around. Our need is dire. Did you explore the Thinkfold? Magnificent, isn't it? I'm curious about that seven statue. Was a seven moot foretold but has yet to happen? Hmm. Well, perhaps it will happen in our lifetime, and I can be here to see it in person. I hope you're right, Kyrostik. Um, don't remember if she will be there. Spoiler alert, I guess. I think we can take care of this last Drake. Just to make our deed a round number. Alright. 
Good enough. So here we are with Cure Stick. And uh, at the Thinkful, once again, we're, we're almost done, but let me just double check how close actually we are. Two red chests, well, close enough. Bagut Doom, Bagut Poknu, Uzdarul Zahar, yeah. The treasure, yeah. This does. Five out of ten, but we have not missed one. Quests. 33 out of 40, yeah. We can do that. And. Uh, Dragon Kind Slayer, Giant Slayer, well, tier one at least. The same with the Hobgoblin did. Yeah, we're re getting really close to finishing Welkin Lofts. And as I was saying, maybe in the next couple episodes we can do that. That remains to be seen. But for the time being, this has been all on today's episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the next one. Garalif is saying goodbye as well. Until then, my friends, stay safe, take care, good luck to you all, and I will see you later.